Hello. Hello. So this is Alan Smith uh, talking about my demonstration platform for the UB NanoSat ADAC team. This right here is capable of full three-dimensional control uh, when, it, when it's finished. It's only one-dimensional control for now. But it uses three reaction wheels, energy wheel omega, uh, integrated sensors. We have our rate gyro and our ex uh, accelerometer. Uh, and our magnetometer out on a boom. All coupled with some very light wires so that you have little disturbance torques. Now, that's all coupled in following the wires woo, to a power supply. And, uh, oh my god, into MATLAB. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to run this simulation. And let's go ahead and point to... Uh, let's do 100 degrees, shall we? So, give it an input. One, zero, zero. It's moving. Well, this will go. Not quite sure why, but the Arduino messes up. And it always works the second time, though. And that mechanical engineer working with software, specifically Arduinos, which can be a bit fickle. So, it can be difficult to debug some of this. So, this is at 300, 400 RPM. 470 RPM, 500 RPM, let go. It will track to, according to the compass rose right there, 100 degrees. 100 degrees, obviously, in the fourth quadrant. Because of the integrator, it will pick back up. There's obviously disturbance torque caused by the uh, wire hanging over. So it is making itself over. And look at that, we are within 5 degrees right now. So this is obviously proven to be a fairly good system, uh, utilizing both the Coleman filter via a really crazy jitter, uh, as well as a Smith predictor for time delays that occur between the processing and uh, actual commands given to the motors. Okay, well, just want to show this presentation here. Thanks. Bye.